Well, there's oil, but not much. And considering it, whatever it shot out, I have no clue. I'll probably find it sometime when I'm cleaning the shop. Oh, the button's gone. <laughs> so it's the green button that was on the end there. That's what's gone. Just an inside and outside tube, just like uh, McPherson struck. Rubber, uh, these pieces were on the bottom. The bearing was trapped between the two uh, uh, things. The rubber isolator w was probably underneath it or whatever, but that's... Uh, yeah, it would have been. Those would have been there on the shaft. Rubber underneath it. And then they went into the hole at the bottom and held on by the clip. Um, so the big tubes basically just holds it in the base. And then there was a big... Well, there is a big piece of plastic in here that guides... Makes sure that stays where it needs to be. Lets it go up and down kind of thing, but doesn't let it uh, wobble. And the other pieces... So, cool. Oh, hey, there's the green button. If I had to cut it further up in the middle here, okay, because, uh, you know, this is where the valve and these pieces were, uh, and the plastic, and the piston. That piece. And, yeah, would have been like that. So, had I cut another inch higher, I would have cut into about here, and that would have made it go and vent the pressure and everything like that. Uh, but where I cut it, I was still above this. So, once I got completely through, then I had this clamped down with the with the vice grips. But if not, it would have just went. It, it probably would have. It would have shot out some but the the bandsaw blade was blocking this from coming out so this thing probably would hit the bandsaw blade shot up went all over the place cool stuff this ain't as exciting or as fun or anything like that as AVE's uh, videos if you guys haven't checked him out AVE uh, used to be Arduino versus Evil and then he changed it up a little bit because he doesn't do as much with uh, Arduino anymore uh, but that uh, that channel's a hoot. Oh my god, man. He's got some funny-ass shit on there. And, and educational shit, too. It's just... Uh, so this is the kind of thing, you know, he probably would have done. He probably would have done it in a way that, you know, you could put it back together and actually use it. Uh, but anyway, I figured out the valve here. Okay. The, the piston's inside the, the... The little tube there. Okay. This sealed to the end of the little tube. And then the outer one sealed to the inside of the big tube. Okay, so there is a hole here, and what it does is, when you push the green button in, it pushes this little plunger down. Okay, and the valve is right there. See the see the smaller diameter? When it's all the way in, it's not sealing at the metal. It's sealing above and below that small spot in the rubber inside here in the O-rings. Okay, so all the way closed, nothing gets out. But when you push that open, that lets air pressure escape through here, out that little hole, and into the big tube. So when you're sitting on it, this is closed, and the pressure's held right there. You pull the, push the green, the, the lever on the side of the handle, okay? Pressure gets released from the small tube out into the big tube, okay? Uh, okay, uh, uh, okay. Maybe I should start saying A. Um... <laughs> <laughs> then when you uh, push the button and take the weight off, the weight, the pressure is greater in the outside tube, and so it goes through the little hole and pushes this piston back down to the other end. Okay, you let go of the thing and it seals, and now you have that trapped air in the side, the small cylinder here that keeps it up. Okay, so if this seal starts going inside here or even around here then that's where you start losing your pressure. Uh, it's still, when you pull the, the trigger or whatever, pull the lever, it still pushes it back up, but the chair likes to settle because it can't hold the pressure sealed in here as well as it uh, did when it was younger. You know? So, that's my education for the day. Shout out to AVE, though. Uh, he does some awesome tear apart videos and stuff like that. He does some a lot more expensive stuff, saws and drills and stuff like that. So if you guys like to see the inside of uh, tools, um, check out his channel. 
Um, and hey, uh, get on Patreon and uh, pitch them a couple bucks a month. Because uh, it's certainly worth it for the uh, output, for the, the videos he puts out and stuff like that.